Take a look at this AI video generator called Dreamix. And this is help created with some people from Google research team. And they also see some of their names up here as well. And let's just take a look. Let's go to this first video right here. Basically, they input this video of this monkey. It looks like he's eating some sort of banana or something. And the generated video, which let me just pause back again, a bear dancing and jumping to a beat music, using his whole body. It's the exact same layout, except it's a bear. And the quality, I mean, a little fuzzy, but it's still kind of insane. Next image, we have a turtle. This one is just an image. The first one was a video. This is just an image. And look what it does. It changes the complete orientation of the turtle. Let's go back, it's going back a little too fast. And basically it showcases a shark in the background with this little prop. Now we have multiple images. It looks like a little Lego type looking character. Actually a little, yeah, action figure guy. And Toy Fireman is lifting weights. So it's out of these three, just from this general overview, it's one, it can convert video into a different video and two, it can convert images into videos. So that is quite insane. And this is something that was been in the works already for the past few months. And let's take a look at some more. So here is input of someone writing on a piece of paper. Here another one, ring and tang and the updated video. It's like a, almost like a enhanced filter early stages. If you ever use like Instagram or social media where they have those filters, it's kind of like overly filtered right now. But again, this is still in the works, obviously. So it's not, you know, I'm not going to be too critical on it. And then here's another one, two dogs. And this time now they changed it with a soccer ball in the floor and the actual floor looks a little bit different, but the general, the face of the white dog, yeah, does need some work, <laughs> but it's almost identical and it's just additional things. And you can see the soccer ball does move a little bit um, pixelated. You can see that right here. It's not perfect. So now let's do the images one. So this is a little image of a uh, little nature scene. And look at this. You can see it looks like a uh, buffalo and some birds and the water is moving. And the fact that it knows to put the water in that specific area too and only keep that, this cool little zoom effects. Cool. Actually, that's kind of crazy. It can do that as well. And then here's another, we got a bear, trees. So you can see the general layout, it's like almost exactly the same. Just something's a little bit more pixelated. And then we have the main character right there. And then this other one, now this one is pretty cool. The fact that it can like understand the dimensions of the cup and fill it up according to it. And then again, a camel. And you can see this, there's patterns in the generated video so far. They all seem to have this kind of like I don't even know how to describe what style this is, but it's almost like this cartoonish like design. So like this one, you can clearly see the shading and the colors. They're not exactly like realistic, but you can, yeah, I can see here. This is more like a cartoonish style, almost as if they have like this sort of light filter on top of it. But the fact that you can see all of these examples, it can do a lot of stuff already. This is insane. This is, this, this is crazy. And this one, this one's actually looks the best, I think, in terms of the actual result. You can see this sort of this like lighting on top. So that is that is currently what Dreams is working on right now. Now this is cool, is this image to generate video where you have multiple images. So the fact that you can take a picture of a bear just sitting down, random angles, and then also the fireman moving around. You literally could animate anything in your house, take a picture of your shoe and have it do a breakdance move or a picture of your toothbrush. It could do it whatever you decide to based off of what this is showcasing in the examples. Here's this one, it looks like a little caterpillar. In real life, that looks like, you know, something doesn't look like a caterpillar, but then here it looks much more realistic, which is kind of crazy. And that could, that these, like, these are crazy. This is insane. And some people might not get why it's insane, but let's just look at the current method right now. So it showcases the set of the frames, it mixes the videos, and basically uses some special details to conform that into the current image. So here it showcases, this is a much better uh, visual. So application dependent, and this is the pre-processing section. So this is the video editing. You have the input, and then you have the image to video. 
you can see the photo duplication and then perspective so obviously you gotta change you know the view and then you have the survey driven video generation and then basically dreamix puts it in does its thing and boom it comes out with this result and now here again this showcases the a visual of um how it actually goes about so we do want to check that definitely you can um look that into it's like a four plus minute video and now let's go ahead and look at the research paper to show you uh some more details on why this is so crazy because this is again this is something that was back in february and uh a lot of people i don't think this had got the hype that it was supposed to because i've seen some text to video editors on like hugging face and it's like it works but it was only like for two seconds long and two it's not the most accurate however this seems to be the very very early stages of this so now let's just look at how this is really working so we can see here what it does is it takes each frame by frame and it essentially makes a copy of the movement so you can see exactly you can see the bear looks exactly like the monkey in each frame and then it puts that into the video editor and does its thing so now let's go ahead and look at some more examples so here again input image on a water shot of a shark approaching so now first off it rotates puts a shark in the frame in the frame in the frame and basically from a general very very simplistic explanation it just looks like it's adding multiple images and putting it into a video which if you ever done video editing there's some scenarios such as like animations 3d softwares where it's ideally the best put turn a let's say a 10 second video into 100 images and that way you just put it together it looks like a literal video it's kind of like um the have you ever seen like the stop animation stop motion animations where they take a picture of each movement and then there's also like the flip boat style it seems to me at least right now that that's the general concept and that makes the most sense because in order to generate certain things like to move a shark it's very very complicated but if you can have a picture of a shark right here right there right there and right there and put it to like a one second video then it literally looks exactly like a shark move and then here it shows the input video and then it makes the dog essentially leap or jump so I think that's still the craziest part to me is the fact that it can almost copy identically whatever the subject is know it is the subject and then reverse or update the actions of the subject to do something so the fact that it can trace just this little uh this dog this little puppy leave out all these other things in the background in a back video that's currently moving and then just replace it that's that's crazy so just imagine the things that they'll be able to do in the next few months let alone next few years in terms of video image ai generation and another thing that people don't understand is the positioning of the frame so if you ever done video editing then you know that this can be very difficult especially with keyframe animations and unless you're using some sort of built-in like transition or something it's it's hard to replicate that so this fact that it knows to literally zoom in and then show a zoom more zoomed in pick or actually technically they're zooming out and then it zooms out again the frame and it zooms out again the frame to replicate the zoom in effect that's crazy same with this image here it's literally just the coffee increasing in the height each image and then there's a the bear obviously the you know stop motion bear walking as well and again this is stuff that to the normal person might not really seem as crazy but the minute where you can go ahead and say type in create something from scratch without the use of a uh, reference image or video that is when ai video generation starts to get very scary so here's some other examples that we didn't see earlier and this one is the dog it has a hat so the fact that it can add an object on top of a moving character aka this dog and keep it in the correct position this is that's that's crazy and then also this part so this is the input video right here this is like a little garden pathway it generates fire on it and it looks currently based off the way they have this framed the fires are moving in different images so it looks as if the animation is actually the fires moving and hence you have a, in a field and also the fact that it changed the color it's like a darker contrast to replicate like you know like a burning environment and then also robot you can replace this hand with a different completely different item aka this robot and this pencil just think of the possibilities of ai generation now again this does become a dangerous thing once you can replace people in the faces however i'm sure there's going to be some sort of cap restrictions on this but again 
that is something to keep in mind regarding uh, misuse of AI, anything technically. And one more example, you can see there's this pot and it literally changes the content of the pot from it looks like these are onions, it looks like, and it switches it completely to noodles. So who knows the video you watch on Instagram or YouTube of someone cooking, if that's even real in the next few years. But again, this is the overall view of Dreamix. So do share your thoughts in the comments below and like and subscribe to see the latest updates in the AI space. And thank you for watching.